And that BOE decision out right now, uh, Bank of England rate staying pat at 50 basis points. But there was some dissension, 7 to 2, to keep interest rates uh, unchanged. So 2 voting for an interest rate hike or dissenting from that uh, today. The minority did want a hike here. Uh, the other sort of headlines that we're getting as well is that they do see ongoing tightening is appropriate to hit the CPI target. And then inflation and growth is broadly in line uh, with their February 4th. Forecast. And the market reaction is what you'd expect. Big jump in sterling of four tenths of 1%. 142 is how we print, so right around the highs uh, of the year. And the gilt market not yet a huge reaction. Uh, the 10 year gilt uh, coming in uh, down by about uh, two basis points, three basis points on the 30 year. So still some buying on the margin. There is some selling, though, uh, on the front end. Uh, the two year yield is now up by about one ba basis point. So moving rate height expectations continuing uh, for this year, David. Yeah, and two other points. It was, as you say seven to two on the interest rate it was actually nine oh on asset purchase program they were unanimous on that the other thing is they said not a big surprise but brexit remains the most significant influence on the outlook so they're going to wait till may uh, but they're really looking at what's going on with brexit with theresa may all right now let's bring in bloomberg's guy johnson uh, in london joining us for more guy if you were an investor and you were looking for two rate hikes this year did you just get some kind of confirmation I think May certainly is further onto the table than it was maybe before. And you can see that in the sterling reaction that you talked about just a moment ago. Uh, the fact that Saunders and McCafferty wanted to go now is also a factor. I think the market was broadly on board with the fact that they were likely to deliver that outcome, that 7-2, probably priced. The pound has been rallying into this as well, remember. So to get a reaction above and beyond the reaction we've already seen, I think is significant. But I think it's those Brexit comments that are interesting. We have moved over the last few days uh, to a more stable footing. I I know it's a very small move, but the talk of transition and a transition agreement being made just maybe starts to reduce that Brexit risk a little bit for the British economy. And as the bank signals that this is one of its major factors that it's watching at the moment, that will make it easier for the bank to hike interest rates. So that's what we're maybe looking at here, and that's why we're seeing the reaction that we've got.